This is a simple tutorial about animation in Blender and to start off with we'll just uh, get this cube moving. Okay, so uh, animation down here you've got your timeline and that's pretty helpful. There are other, other tools for animation which I'll explain later but let's just get you started. So let's move this cube up here and back again. Okay, uh, very simple to, uh, similar to other programs. You've got um, not frame here and uh, it just goes up so anything that happens this will play 25 frames will be one second and 50 frames two seconds and it just plays along whatever you do and moving things around in here it will record so if we press this record button here um, and then uh, click on our um, cube and then move it let's say oh it didn't actually work let's try that again let's just click on the move ah there we go it's inserted a keyframe hasn't it yes it has when it's yellow it's inserted a keyframe so let's go 15 frames move it to the right along the y-axis there and can you see if I move it another 15 frames so uh, we're just over a second now um, and I'll move it back again uh, it's inserted some keyframes and you can see I'll start from the beginning slowly go through to 30 frames it's gone forward and back again okay, forwards and backwards quite simple uh, so let's do something slightly more complicated um, to test your skills a bit more so let's start a new one File new, and we'll create a cylinder, and we'll make a sphere go through a cylinder. That's a bit, a bit more tricky, I suppose. Okay, add mesh uh, cylinder. Let's get a cylinder, right? And I'm going to go into edit mode and delete the top and the bottom of it. Okay, so um, edit mode is tab, control tab to select the faces, select the top face, and delete that. Select the bottom face, let's delete and delete that. Okay, so this is my cylinder. Uh, let's scale it by the Z, make it a bit longer. Right, now what I'm going to do, um, and remember I came out of, out of edit mode to scale it at that point, uh, not that that makes too much difference, but I'm out of edit mode now, let's add a mesh and a UV sphere, and there's the UV sphere, let's make it a bit smaller by scaling, pressing S, scaling it in, and we're going to make it go up, here, down, here, and across, here, and back to the beginning, okay, <laughs> nice and simple. Now, in fact, let, what we'll do is, we'll scale it up, right, and then we're going to move it up, round, scale it down, move it through, scale it up again and move it back. Okay, uh, a little bit different, uh, but see how we get on. Uh, let's make these smooth as well. Click on them, click over here and press smooth. Click on that, press smooth. Um, okay, so let's go to our record button and click on our sphere, move it to the place we want it. Yeah, that, I'm happy with that. So we created a keyframe. And let's say we want the whole thing to take um, what, uh, four seconds okay so I'll move it up to around 15 and move it up to here okay and then I'm gonna move it across to here okay so at the moment it's going across to there and then at this point I want it to scale down when it hits here okay so let's press the S button scale it down that's about right let's see what happens then Yep, so there we go, moving across there, there, scaling down, now let's move through, it's going to get a bit faster, it's going to get to about 60 there, moving through, and then we'll scale it back up to 70, so let's scale it back up, there we go, probably needs to be a bit further down when we go to 60, if we want to change something, just go over the keyframe again, and you can know when you're on the keyframe, it turns orange there, you can go down a little bit more then, okay, and then it scales up to 70. Right, is that going through okay? Well, going down, through, scaling back up, and ah, now you see this, when I was at 60, it was in a different location. Can you see it moving upwards slightly when I go to 70? So let's move that back down. Okay. Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? Now it's not moving so much. And then we want to move it across to here for 85, and back up. To roughly where it was for 100 and what have we got if we play it through just uh, dragging timeline across scales down go through back out up and around very straightforward isn't it you press the record button and whatever you do it will insert a keyframe in here and if you want to change the keyframes you go back over them make sure it's orange and then you can change the position slightly so let's move that down there okay so let's change it slightly so it's going downwards and then up okay Hopefully that all makes sense. Good luck.